What is up? It's me, Looks My Lottie, and welcome to today's video. If this is your first time here on my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad to see you here today. If you like videos about makeup, make sure to subscribe down below. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. If this is your second, third, fourth, or however many times you've been here, then welcome back. It's so good to see you again. Make sure you turn on that bell so you know whenever I post a new video. If my lighting looks a little bit off today, it's because I'm only using two of my lights. I usually have a ring light right in the middle, but she's off today. It's a long story, but it's off. Also, my hair is wet. I just took a shower because, you know, gotta stay clean. But as the title states, you guys are getting another fall makeup tutorial today. Who would've thought? The palette we're gonna be using the most today is the Anastasia X Curly Bible Palette. This is a fairly good palette, but I will say that the shades don't really go that deep, unfortunately. I, I have to laugh, I'm sorry, this is so- That is my one criticism of it, otherwise it's wonderful. So come along with me, prime your eyes, get your palettes, and let's dig in, shall we? To start, I'm gonna take this peach shade named Cindy and I'm going to put it in my crease. But why are you using a peach shade for a fall look? Just wait and see, friends. Just wait and see. This is just like a good peach shade, just in general. Y'all need this in your life. Next, we're gonna deepen up our crease with the shade Chai. Also, fun fact for this palette, Carly named four different shades after her cats. That's iconic. If I ever have a palette, Jacob and Tilly are definitely getting their own shades. Taking a moment to bring back a little bit more of that peach shade. Obviously, this is your look, so you can have as much brown and as much peach as you want. It's your life. Do what you want with it. Now I'm going to take what's left of the shade Bare right here, and I'm going to soften up the upper half of this look. I don't know what this bear is called. Up by my eyebrow, I guess. We are looking spicy. Also this morning, I had a chai latte and I added the apple spice in it. Sadly, it wasn't that good. It was more spicy than apple-y. Just get a hot apple spice if you like apple cider. Now we're gonna add a splash of fall with this shade right here called Stev. We're gonna put it in my crease and also on the outer corner of my lid. Now we're gonna deepen up the outer corners with the brown shade, Bowie. And now it is time to cut our crease. I'm gonna be using the Glamite eyeshadow base, specifically the Icing shadow base. Hardy, hard, hard. Now with whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just going to blend that into the into the cut crease just so that we can get a nice blend later on from the shadow I'm gonna put on it. So for my cut crease, I would use the shade Bare if I had more of it, but unfortunately, she's out. So I found a fairly similar shade in this palette. It's this shade right here, which is called Breezy. I'm taking this on this brush and I am just gonna apply it all over my cut crease. I'm gonna do my lashes and liner off camera. The lashes I'm using are from Lunar Beauty in the style Stella, and I'm using a brown liner from Color Girl. I'll be back when I finish with that. All right, now that my lashes are on, let's go ahead and beat my face. For my base, I'm gonna use the Tarte Hydro Flex Serum Foundation and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. Thank you. 
Something really weird is happening on my under eye right now and I'm hoping that that will go away because it's not pretty. Now I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Press Powder. Let's go ahead and get our under eyes done. First, I'm going to take Bowie and then Stev underneath. They're not going to be mixed, I'm going to layer them on top of each other. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of this base onto my lash line, because we're gonna add some color. Onto my waterline, we are gonna take this shimmer right here, which is called My Angels. How beautiful. I got it in my eye. Oh, oh man, that was a big chunk. Okay, note to self, be more careful. To top it all off, I'm going to add some brown mascara onto my lower lashes. This is the one from my ColourPop box, and yes, I basically wear it every day still. Now let's finish up the face. We are gonna go in with the LIS Matte Bronzer in the shade Motivate. Oh my gosh, it's me. Hey! By the way, you guys, I'm now actually an ambassador for LIS Beauty. I'm still working on getting my code, but once I do, I will give that to you guys. I already have a referral link down in my description below, and when you use it, I do get 4% commission. So if you want to buy from LIS, you can use that link, but don't feel obligated to do it. Just if you want to support me. Next, we're going into the Rouge Romance Palette from Jacqueline Cosmetics, and I'm going to take a mix of Pretty Posh and Tempting. Lastly, we are going to use a highlighter palette from Kinder Beauty. This is a Kinder Glow palette. Remember, I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago. And we're going to use this shade right here called Angel. But first, let me wet my face. I forgot we need to pop back into the Carly Bible palette real quick, and we are going to take the shade Moo and put it in my inner corner and on my brow bone. All right, now we're going to do our lips, so I'm going to align with this ColourPop lippy in shade Soft Side, and we're going to top it with the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in shade Autumn. All right, friends, let me get my hair and my outfit together and I will come back to you with my final thoughts. Okay, friends, so here's our final look. How are we feeling? What are we thinking? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I need to put some lip gloss first because unless you're feeling very dry. But that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Now don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Make sure you are subscribed and also turn on post notifications so you know when I post my next upload. Now I've got a date at the corn maze. Hopefully I don't get lost. I'll see you guys later. Bye!